pretty much everyone at one time or another has thought about leaving their job, usually for a, a pretty decent reason. However, some footballers decided to leave their jobs because of truly insane reasons. And here are seven footballers who did just that. Carlos Roa. Reason? Feared the world was going to end. You might remember this Argentine goalkeeper from England's penalty shootout disaster at the 98 World Cup. And in 1999, it looked like Roa was all but set for a move to Man United from Mallorca. However, Roa was adamant that the world was going to end in the year 2000, so quit football to prepare for the apocalypse. The year 2000 is going to be difficult. In the world there is war, hunger, plague and much poverty. I assure you that those people who do not have a spiritual connection with God will be in trouble. Yikes. He ended up going off to a desolate ranch in his homeland to wait for the day of reckoning. However, after realising it wasn't going to happen, he came out of retirement until 2006. David Unsworth. His commute was too long and his wife didn't like the shopping. No, we are dead serious. In 97, Unsworth wanted to leave West Ham to move closer to his wife's family on Merseyside. So naturally, despite the interest of Everton, he decided to join Aston Villa, just a hundred miles away from Merseyside. After doing the commute once, Unsworth thought he can't be arsed driving here every day, so went to manager John Gregory and told him that he'd made a massive mistake and that he wanted to leave. Gregory told Unsworth, just to move to Birmingham or get a flat during the week. However, Unsworth's wife refused to move, reportedly because the shopping just wasn't that good. After playing one game, Unsworth was then sold to Everton, which is just exactly where he could have ended up if he decided to join them in the first place. Tim Vice joined WWE. We're sure that everyone has wanted to become a wrestler at some point in their life. And for German goalkeeper Tim Weiss, that became a reality when he left Hoffenheim in 2014 to join the WWE. He finally made his debut in 2016 in a six-man tag, and while he's hardly Ric Flair, he was still pretty decent. God knows if he'll ever end up getting on the main roster, but he's tall and muscular, so Vince McMahon is surely going to love him. Joey Bouchamp. Reason? He was homesick. Bouchamp was really highly rated when he made his move from Oxford to West Ham in 1994. However, despite the chance to play in the Premier League with the Hammers, Bouchamp decided that the 91 mile journey from Oxford to London was just too much for him. After 58 days of motorway mayhem for poor Bouchamp, he ended up with a move to Swindon, which is still a two hour round trip. Julian Faubert, reason he fell asleep during a match. When Faubert went on loan to Real Madrid from West Ham, it was true evidence that football had indeed gone insane. However, the dream move for Faubert soon became a nightmare for Real Madrid. First, he missed training because he thought he had the day off, and then he was pictured asleep on the bench during a game against Villarreal. You've really got to appreciate West Ham's commitment in getting really troubled players either in or out of the club. Hadatoshi Nakata. Reason, he wanted to tour around Japan. At one point, Nakata was rated amongst the top players in the world and was really great to watch. However, he decided to give up his career after a loan deal to Bolton was enough to make him disillusioned with the beautiful game. He decided to retire before he was 30, so he could tour around Japan and forget about all the materialistic things in the world. After that, he later became a model and could not be persuaded out of retirement. So that's our list. What's the strangest reason you've heard for a player leaving a club? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more great content.